much for joining me today. We are going to be working on a gratitude practice today, taking our body through some nice movement and helping us to feel really grateful for all the things that we have in our life. Let's start by focusing our mind with our Hoberman breath. So taking your eyes right to the sphere, or if you'd like, you can close your eyes down and imagine the sphere in your mind. As you inhale, allow your body to fill with breath and air. And as you exhale, allow that air to gently leave through your nostrils. Inhale deeply, filling up nice and full. And exhale, allow the air to gently pass. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling full and complete. And exhaling full and complete. Let's keep doing this breath for about five more rounds. You can close your eyes now if you would like and imagine seeing the sphere moving gently in and out. Opening and expanding as you breathe in. And gently squeezing and giving yourself a little bit of an inner hug as you let the air out. Trying to slow our breath down, allowing our bodies to feel calm and relaxed. One more breath. You guys are doing great. Now, if you'd like, you can keep your eyes closed. If not, blink them open and let's try to keep that breathing nice and calm and slow. So you inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and as you exhale, twist towards the right. Inhale, come back towards center, reaching up. Exhale towards the left. Let's do this one more time each way. Inhale, reach up. Exhale towards the right. Inhale, fill up nice and full, reach up. Exhale towards the left. This time, inhale, reach up, nice and full, and exhale towards the right. And let's do three Hoberman breaths, holding ourselves here. Inhale up, exhale, close. As you hold yourself there, imagine the sphere. Inhale, breathe and expand. Exhale, close it in. One more time, inhale, and exhale, great job. As you breathe in, unwind from the twist, reaching up, and exhale, let's twist towards the left. Just let your hands fall wherever they are, and then let's come back to this breath. Inhale, try not to force it, exhale, soft. It's more about keeping our, our breath a little bit more even. Inhale, the same amount of time. As we exhale, one more breath. Inhale and exhale. Amazing job. Inhale, come back towards center and exhale your hands down. Let's bring the soles of our feet together. So then we're coming into this butterfly shape like these are butterfly wings. Big toes really press it up nice and tall. And then we're going to slowly bend over. Now, try to keep your spine as long as you can. It's really tempting to be really round here. Your spine can be a little bit curved, but not too much. Three breaths, just like this. Inhale, that Hoberman sphere. Imagine it in your mind. Exhale, squeeze the air out. Let's see if we can fill up even more full this time. Inhale, right to the belly. Exhale, squeeze the air out. One more breath, just like this. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Then inhale, come all the way back up. And then we're going to transition onto our knees into child's pose. Now, I like to do this breath, this Hoberman breath in child's pose here. So your forehead is down on the floor. Now, I want you to imagine that that sphere is in your belly inside your belly actually so that as you inhale you can feel it press against your legs 
And as you exhale, you can feel it pull away from your legs. Let's do three breaths just like that. So as you inhale, feel your belly push against your legs. And then as you exhale, see if you can pull it away from your legs. Two more times. Inhale. Press against your legs. Exhale. Pull away from your legs. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. Let's give a little stretch out in our puppy dog pose. So reach your arms out in front of you. Stick your bum up in the air. Even let that tail wag a little bit and press your forehead down onto the floor. Push your hands strong. As you inhale, allow your belly to get big, just like the sphere. Exhale, pull the belly in. Inhale, belly gets big like the sphere. And exhale, pull it in one more time. Inhale, big. And exhale, excellent. Let's keep moving on to our bellies, using your hands by your ribs, just like we do for our cobra pose, holding your chest up nice and strong. And then take your forearms onto the floor. This is called Sphinx pose. So we're just like the big Sphinx in Egypt. Try to not have any pain in your back. If you're arching too far, you just need to come down a little bit. Pull your chest through and three breaths in this new pose. Inhale, big breathe in. Exhale, pull your belly away from the floor. Squeeze your bum a little bit here. Inhale. You feel your belly on the floor and then exhale. Pull the belly away from the floor. One more breath, inhale. And then exhale, excellent job. Slowly let your back come down towards the floor. Use your hands, push yourself back into a child's pose. Just let your spine stretch out a little bit here. And then we'll make our way onto our backs for our Shavasana. So as we come into our final resting pose, Shavasana, stretch your legs out and your arms out to the side. Try not to be touching anything. And let's think about that sphere in our mind. Keeping our breath nice and slow and calm. As you inhale, you're thinking, I am thankful. And as you exhale, think, I am grateful. Inhale, I am thankful. Exhale, I am grateful. And this time I want you to complete the sentence. So inhale, I am thankful for, and you can choose what you fill in the blanks with. Exhale, I am grateful for, you fill in the blank. Let's see if you can think of something different. Inhale, I am thankful for. Exhale, I am grateful for. Let's think of one more thing that comes to mind. Inhale, I am thankful for. Exhale, I am grateful for. And if you'd like to stay here longer, feel free to. If not, wiggle those fingers and toes. Rock your head side to side. Stretch your arms and legs long. And exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest. Give them a little hug. And then let's rock and roll our way up to sit. Coming onto our seat, sealing your hands in front of your heart center. Bow your chin towards your chest. Close those eyes back down. Let's come back to that feeling of being thankful and grateful. Sometimes it's hard to fill in the blanks, what we are grateful or thankful for. So if you found that challenging today, that's okay. Come back to it later. Remembering it doesn't have to be something big and extravagant. It could be something very small. I know that I am grateful for all of you joining me. I am thankful for having the internet to make this available for you wherever you are.
Thank you again for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.